Welcome everybody to beautiful Miami and Hard Rock City, site of this year's Capital One Orange Bowl, part, of course, of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. We'll find out here today which side has the toughness and the depth to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads. As we'll see the number three seed in this playoff, the Georgia Bulldogs. Taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Street, And here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? Bring it out from his end zone. They tackle him at the nine. That's a good coverage. They should have left the ball in the end zone. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense in less than ideal position off that throw return. I love being in Miami for the Orange Bowl. So much history and tradition. So many championships have been won in this game. But Kirk, they've been playing this since 1935. Can you tell me who won that first Orange Bowl? You know what's funny is I actually asked the Sunshine Scooter, who's from Miami, just in case you might ask me that question, so I have an answer. Miami played the Bison of Bucknell, and Bucknell upset them. Talk about a team coming out of left field and pulling off an upset even back then. But who would have guessed how much this game and the college football world would change since then? First down and ten now. Dropping back. It's back. It's a quick grab. And they bring him down quickly, but that's a solid gain on the short throw. Here's the second down play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. The dogs come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Boy, great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, Moshe Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on. The great Georgia backs. Most out of town. This is exactly how this offense envisioned this game getting started, is having opportunities to be able to crease this defense and hit big plays. Now let's see what they can do off of it. Scrambling around now, looking downfield. And is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Oh, just a tough way to start this game for this offense. Throwing an interception on their very first drive. Now, see how their own defense will do, but they cannot panic, make a couple adjustments, and get ready next time they get the ball. guys up front lined up it's first down and the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust he's across the 25 and he scores touchdown buffs now this defense is so caught up in all the wide receivers they forgot about the running back he's not just back there running the ball this guy's involved in the passing game a nice throw and catch and a touchdown And now the try here for the extra point. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. The kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He's 
going to bring this out a few yards deep. It's a fumble. The returner loses the football deep in their own territory. Another example of taking care of the football and how big of a deal this is. Usually it's running backs in practice that are working overtime on ball security. But after this, next week, this returner might be in those drills too. Can't be trusted to return it when you can't hold on to the football. Those backwards losing three yards there. What a great shot by this defense. Backed up deep in their own territory inside the red zone. But they get penetration to come up with a loss there. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And the defense is getting pressure on the quarterback. They got a little bit fooled here by the screen play. Nice positive game for the offense. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down. Trying to force a field goal. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Kicker out there again to boot it away. And so it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. And this offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Trying to find room. It's ETN. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Well, the defensive coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Hot over the middle. It's Lovett. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches. The dogs will have to kick it away. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he goes nowhere. Stop cold behind the line of scrimmage. After the first down loss, it's second and long for the 22. To throw, it's Sanders. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, Colorado. Strong game by this quarterback. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And the extra point is good. It's 17 nothing. Now they get set to kick it away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? 
to shotgun one call. Fighting off the defender. Stopped short the marker after just a short game. Well, this guy's got some wingle, and you can see there he's got some power. He's able to break through one arm tackle, but the secondary comes up to finish him off. Bringing pressure. And he's got his man open downfield. They get him down to the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw. And that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Looking for some space. It's ETN. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Crucial third down play coming up. Well, Chris, this is going to set up a big third down now for this offense. They're down early in the game with all the hype and the pressure on a playoff game. You don't want to dig yourselves too big of a hole. They're going to keep this drive alive, so they need to convert right here. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. And they'll use the ground game here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness for getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Brought down, but broke the tackle. Produce a solid game there. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Fires it to the wideout. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. And so Kirk Colorado has the lead. And the first quarter is in the books. What is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. We'll see if this game gets out of hand before halftime. The crucial second quarter beginning right now. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Caught on the outside. It's ETN. When the defense had everything covered downfield, the quarterback tries to check it down. But how about the defensive speed to be able to sniff that out? They'll run it to the left. They got him, but not before a solid gain on the ground there. Just love watching his back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice solid gain. Dropping back, it's back. Caught near the goal line. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. The dogs looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he makes it into the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. So with playoff pressure for the offense exceeds a long, grinding, methodical drive. You know, the thing I've loved about this offense all year long is their ability to either hit the big play or not have to rely on that. Like this, they're able to sustain the drive and still come up with points and get a touchdown. And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT is good. They trail now by 10, 17-7. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And the return man decides a single fair catch. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain in that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either the receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Going absolutely nowhere after a loss of the play. Loss of the 
The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Makes a quick grab. Tackle with the 35. Good enough for a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. And he's going to float this one to the right side. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. And this quarterback is a stud. I, I looked at him all week and thought he had a chance to light up the scoreboard. But if the defense can put that kind of pressure on him. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Going the other way. Can they stop him? It's a big return off the INT. They steal their offensive possession. That offensive coordinator is going to have some choice words for his quarterback over the phone on the sideline after that throw. You have to be more careful with the football. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Here's the kickoff team now. Set to boot this one away. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. That ball is incomplete. An aggressive deep shot on first down. Boy, this quarterback is really rolling the dice out here today. Remember, he threw an interception the last time they had the ball. I thought he might learn from that, but instead he comes out throwing it into coverage again. Somehow catches a break on this tip ball. If this one was an interception, he better tighten up his decision making. He's going to cost himself a game. You set it down to the offense, first and ten. That's good timing there. Receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're going to run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line. Because this play takes some time for the receiver to work his way across the field on that drag route. And the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage and make the accurate throw. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. And he'll drop back here on third down. Oh, he misfires again. Three in a row. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down. But really, it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get him behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages. Really affect the quarterback's eye. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. No stopping him. Takes it all the way. Touchdown, Buffaloes. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. Now, here comes the point after attempt. And the extra point gives him a double-digit lead. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Bringing it out. It's Smith. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. This group really struggled in the first quarter, but they've gotten things going here. Can they find some more momentum now before halftime? He's tackled just short of the 20-yard line. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains. And runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. The back's got it. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Who 
crucial third down play right here. They'll give it to the back. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. So we reach the two minute warning of this offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. The Bulldogs will send the punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And this one will be fair caught. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. The passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. So the first play of the drive here coming up. Less than two minutes left on the clock. Looking to make a play deep downfield. And it's picked off. That was a risky pass attempt. And he paid the price. Not a great return, but the important thing to pick wipes out his scoring threat. He'll set the offense up to the 31. His line getting set up. It's a first down play. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. Grab down the middle. It's ETN. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. The timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And the tackle is made, not the big play they were looking for, but a pretty solid game. Important second down play coming up. Back to throw. It's back. Quick throw to his receiver. It's caught downfield. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Here comes the point after attempt. PAT is good. They draw within three, 24 21. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. The last possession ended quickly. An interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. They went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. Offense looking to throw the ball. Airing this one out toward the sideline. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Potentially a touchdown saving tackle, but not before a long completion. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Ready up. The offense is clicking, and the defense just searching for answers now back to throw is sanders but they don't make the connection that one is incomplete offense getting set it's second down from the shotgun he's probing the secondary and he pulls in the catch and he goes down after a huge game. This offense he is clicking now. This offense is clicking, and clearly, everything seems to be working. Coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and the rest of his receivers and running backs are executing. And frankly, this defense is showing almost no resistance. And he never had a chance tackled in the backfield. So the screen on first down is snuffed out nicely, and now they're behind the sticks here. Yeah, the offense tried to fool this defense by going the screen on first down, but give the defense all the credit in the world. They're not... Doesn't get rid of the ball, trapped for a huge loss. Goodness, that is usually a drive kill. You talk about flipping the script. The defense has given up some yards, potentially going to give up some points, and on this... 
And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffs. You put five wide receivers into the formation, you put so much pressure on the defense. Do you have enough guys that can cover? Quarterback does such a good job of finding the weakness and exploiting it. Now the try here for the extra point. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. Fielded in the end zone. It's Smith. And the returner will be brought down. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. It's a run. Running back's got it. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. These games, they never disappoint, regardless the score. And this one was filled with excitement and big plays throughout that first half. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. Chris, let's send things back to you and Kirk for what should be a memorable second half as we eagerly anticipate we'll be moving on to the next round of this college football playoff. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Off the play fake on first down. Lofting it toward the left sideline. Catch made. It's a big play inside the 30. Touchdown, Colorado. No chance to catch it. Now just a brilliant game for this quarterback. With a spot in the natty on the line, you need your guy to step up, and this guy has delivered so far today. You know, it's just everything coming together. The preparation that he put in leading into this game, the offense doing their job of taking care of him, the receivers running good routes. Everything right now is clicking for this offense and this quarterback. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good. They stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee to bring the football to the 25-yard line. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. On first down, it's play action. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They make the tackle, but it's a big game. Ball near midfield, spotted at the 49. Fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. A handoff to the back. The gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. If I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Third down. This offense can really use a conversion here down multiple scores. Can he get there on the ground? And moves the ball to the 35, another first down. This is why they're in the playoff, right? Not just the ability to throw the ball, but you get to a critical moment, a third down, you trust that offensive line to come up with a first down, and they get it. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Second down. 
force the play call here on second down for this offense. And switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Caught over the middle. It's Thomas. They wrap it up after the completion just short of the first down mark. So let's see what the play caller likes here on third and short from the plus 27. Off the RPO, caught to the right. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. Georgia setting up for the first and 10 now. Good job by this offensive line and a great throw by the quarterback to get that first down there on third down. It's exactly what they needed to do. This is too big of a game. They've come too far. They're in the playoff. You're down in the second half. Good job of keeping this drive alive. The Bulldogs looking to cash in this red zone trip. Chris, it's a great game, but I'm always so impressed with the offensive line because they sell this as much as anything. The perfect touchdown, dogs. Still no answer for this offense. That's a crucial response for this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff teams on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 19th. Good job by the coverage team. Colorado offense is back out on the field. This offense scores the defense with a lightning strike, a one-play touchdown in the last possession. Let's see if they can duplicate that magic here. And looking to throw now on first down. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. Aggressive call, a deep shot on first down, but incomplete. Well, Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. They'll tackle him at the 27. Boy, draws and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. Now they're going to draw play. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. How impressive these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. Choosing to just throw the ball away that time. Second down play now coming up. To throw, it's Sanders. Running back grabs it on a screen. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. How about the discipline of this defense here on second down? You're anticipating a pass. They've got pretty much everybody covered. And then once the back has the ball, how about the speed to be able to bring him down? Now it's third down. Caught way down field for a huge game. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. Think about this, Chris. These guys have been working since January of last year to get ready for a dream season. They've had that. Now they're here so close into the postseason in the playoff. Working with the lead, it comes down to a third down. They do their job, convert. Now they keep working that clock and getting so much closer to advancing to the next round. And the Buffaloes are on the move here. On first and ten, they'll look. There's a shot toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Buffaloes. I hope they had a month to get ready for this pitch and catch combo for the playoff game. They've had no answer so far. Their playoff 
game, national championship on the line. You know the old saying we used to always hear, big time players make big plays in big games, and he certainly is doing that today. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT puts them up 17 now. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Smith. Breaking through defenders. He's tackled at the 17, so it'd been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. First down here for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Grab down the middle. It's Lovett. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Inside the 10. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. And that's his second touchdown today. This guy's winning every one-on-one -on -one matchup this defense provides. Great job by the quarterback putting the ball where his guy can make a play on it, and he's got two on the board. They're setting out to try the BAT. BAT up and good to get a little bit closer. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Return starts from inside the five. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. The last possession, they really had the passing game clicking. Move right down the field for a touchdown. And for the first play of the drive, they'll set up at the 16. Try to catch the defense with the draw. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. So behind the six, second and long from their 14. Looking to throw. It's Sanders. Running back has it on the screen now. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain in that play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here. Third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes. is Just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. Marked out of bounds, but it's another big game. This air attack, no problem moving the ball up and down the field today. So Kirk Colorado has the lead. Sitting in a pretty good spot as you wrap up the third quarter, trying to keep those national championship hopes alive. Let's take a quick look at the game stats while we have a chance. All right, here comes the fourth quarter. Everything to play for here. Who is going to stay alive, survive, and advance in the college football playoff? So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. He'll hand it off. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter.
A handoff from the shotgun. Brought down, but the game moves the ball all the way to the plus 42. But this offense just seems to get more confident as this football game is played out. They've got a nice lead. Here they are in the fourth quarter, just working that clock, possessing the football, and trying to get out of here with a nice, solid victory. Quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. When the linebacker is the, really the quarterback of the defense on this play, diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. He just blew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Good job bleeding the clock on this drive so far. They'll come up on a second down. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. Looking to set up a screen pass here. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the mark. It's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just about to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Well, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. The linebacker shifting around now. Well, no surprise here. They're already two for two on fourth down. Got to make it three for three here. Wow, back-to-back -back deep shot. Oh, and it's picked off, a crushing mistake. Going the other way, can they catch him? Wow, a risky call by the offensive coordinator. Playing with the lead in the playoff in the second half, throwing the football. I don't disagree with it, but now you give this defense a chance to create a turnover, and they capitalize here with the pick. down here the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning looking to throw it on first down and now in the final couple minutes here's a deep shot and that deep shot is caught for a big game touchdown bulldogs a strong fight back And they'll set up for the PAT. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Pickoff team is on the field to move this one away. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And the coverage team ends him in and brings him down. Maybe trying to confuse the line with some movement. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. The defense has all three timeouts remaining, so they have to run a couple of plays here. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Second down after that previous play. Scanning the field. It's Sanders. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. He takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Buffs. Well, that's why you practice right there, Chris. This offense had the pressure, the game on their back. They deliver, they get a touchdown, and now make this a two-possession game with under two to go. Like their odds of closing this game out. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. Georgia. 
And it's field and Bertrand are trying to create good field position here. And he stopped at the 20. Trying to make something happen. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last possession, a one-play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? First down, looking to throw the ball. Gets made on the out route. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Pop over the middle. It's Urasek. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Here we go. Dropping back. It's back. He dumps it off to the tight end. The defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. But crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. He pulls it in for a big gain. A quick timeout call on the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. He's got an open man downfield, but it's caught. Gay moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. And the offense wisely spikes the ball here to stop the clock. Second down and goal. Quarterback looking to connect with a receiver here. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. Offense moving backwards here. A long way from the goal line now. Third and goal. Looking to throw for it. And it's picked off in the end zone. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Up by two possessions here. They have a chance to put the game on ice right now. Linebacker's trying to confuse this offense now. So it's first and ten inside the five. How does the coaching staff play this? So they run the ball to get some breathing room, or do they trust the QB and be more aggressive here? And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Getting set. Here's second down. Backed up with the one, he's going to throw it. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And he's brought down. Good job by the defense getting through the blockers. But he stopped short of the first down. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and to be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically, and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.